The combined comparison operator introduced in PHP 7 allows us to compare two values and get uh, in return a value which is either a zero or a positive number or a negative number. So far from playing around with uh, this operator, the return value was always either zero, minus one or one. Uh, however, I'm not using PHP 7 final version, so things may might change. However, let's say that we have two variables with the value 3 and 4 and here we compare the two using the new combined comparison operator. During this comparison we shall get in return 0 if the two uh, variables all the same value we shall get a negative number if dollar a is smaller and a positive number if dollar a is bigger. Now this in this case, dollar $A is smaller, so we can expect getting minus 1, a negative value. Let's refresh, minus 1. Now, if those were the very same values, then of course we could expect getting 0. Using this uh, special operator is actually a replacement for using a if else statement together with another if else statement within the else segment. Now uh, we can compare numbers, we can also compare uh, strings. Trying to use this um, new operator for comparing two strings, as in this case, uh, we shall get a comparison based on the lexicographic order of the strings. Well, over here, uh, this string $A is equivalent to Mama and $B is equivalent to Abba, and A comes before M, so uh, this value can be treated as a bigger one, so we can expect $term to be assigned with a positive number 1. Let's refresh 1. However, if we have the very same strings, we shall get 0. We can use this new operator for comparing arrays. Let's say we have two arrays. Uh, comparing two arrays, two arrays will be based on comparing their elements. Now, if the two arrays are the same, then we can expect dollar temp to be assigned with a zero. Now, if we try to execute this code sample, we get zero. Now. What happens when the two arrays are not the same, meaning each one of them holds uh, different values? Let's say we have $A with uh, an array with these values. In this case, we can say that uh, going over the values of uh, this array, we can find that each one of them is bigger than its equivalent in the other array, and that's why $A will be treated as a bigger one, um, as a one that should come um, uh, first or after uh, the other ar uh, array. It all depends on the order, but $A is treated as bigger, and that's why $temp will be assigned with a positive value, which is 1. Now, if we refresh, we can see $temp is assigned with 1. However, if it, the case is the opposite, let's say that over here we have bigger numbers, then $A will be treated as smaller, and therefore $temp will be assigned with a negative number, minus 1. Now, if we refresh, we get minus 1. Now, what happens if some of the numbers are bigger, some are not bigger? Well, in this case, we shall see that um, there is uh, a check for how many numbers of the first array are bigger than their equivalent and how many are smaller. And by doing this small calculation, we shall know which of the two arrays is treated as bigger. Well, for now, we have $B with uh, three numbers that are bigger than their equivalent, and that's why $B is treated as bigger. Now, if I change 200 into 2, then we have uh, in dollar B, two numbers that are bigger than their equivalent in $A and one which is smaller 
Therefore, dollar B is treated as bigger one, and dollar temp will be assigned with minus one. If we refresh, we see minus one. Now, um, if, for example, I change it, and here I say, let's say we have one, then it, the outcome will be different. Now we can see that dollar A has three numbers, dollar B also has three numbers, and if we compare these numbers, then we can see that two out of the three are bigger in dollar A, and that's why dollar A is treated as bigger, and that's why dollar temp will be assigned with uh, a positive number. One. Now, what happens if um, the two arrays have uh, equivalent number of uh, numbers who are bigger than their equivalent and numbers who are smaller than their equivalent? Meaning, what happens, for example, if we have, let's say, one more uh, number and this one? is bigger in dollar B than its equivalent in dollar A. Now if we check, for example, in this case, how many numbers in dollar A are bigger than their equivalent and in dollar B and how many are smaller, then we can see that uh, we get uh, the same number. I mean, this one, 10 is bigger than one and 22 is bigger than two. And then we have the, those two numbers that are smaller. Uh, when this is the case, uh, there will be a check uh, of the first uh, number and in this case the first number in dollar a is bigger and that's why this expression uh, its value is uh, a positive number one so if we refresh we can expect dollar temp to be assigned with the value one